Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your 10 day forecast, July 11th through the 20th for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, but you can always check your other signs to try to paint a broader picture. Um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the links in the description box below and you'll be able to get one directly from me there. Okay. So Capricorn, what are the energies for love? It's going to be a love reading for July 11th through the 20th. The overall energy here is the Six of Pentacles. I think you got that from the last week. And the Six of Cups. And the Tower. Victory here. The Six of Wands. Isn't that amazing? You have three sixes. No, that is not devil energy. You have the moon and the king of cups okay so the overall energy for this time period i'm picking up is quite obvious the six of pentacles is reciprocity somebody's giving lots of giving and lots of uh, giving to and giving uh, back and forth exchange okay sixes are definitely about I guess you could say, um, a s exchange, you know, like even with the, even with the six of wands, there's an exchange here where it, people are supporting you. Okay. This is a supportive energy here. This is supportive energy here. Okay. So someone from your past, there could be a reconciliation, reconciliation with the king of cups, which could be a water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm picking up Libra, but this person has, um, I'm also, yeah, Scorpio and Pisces here for sure. This person, I'm also, you know, they're just generally very kind hearted. Could be a father figure, uh, someone who's, uh, they make a great father. Um, if it's a female, this person has just some more masculine qualities about them, uh, but reserved in their emotions. They don't jump off, jump at the, you know, they don't, what's the word? I can never say it. They don't, um, they don't react is really what I, I want to say. They act, but they don't react. Okay. Um, but I'm sensing someone's going to be giving you some very support, some big support, financial support to you. Uh, also kindness, someone from your past or someone from the past is giving you support. That's helping you, you know, kind of like get back up on your horse where you really need to be right now. Um, this tower card here, this could be, this could have something to do with moving a physical move, a great change, something that just kind of, kind of comes out of the blue. It's not really, I, I don't feel like it's something you will be expecting. So you may get someone who offers you to help you financially with something and it's not what you expect. And it's someone from the past. It's someone who has been, it could be an anonymous offer as well out of the blue that the, the person may not tell you who they are. They could be attached to this King of Cups or I'm just going to spill the beans and say it might be from that King of Cups person. Uh, so for a male, if this is a male, this could be, you know, whatever gender you are, this is someone who is, you know, author in authority or is older. Okay. Um, but I am seeing some charity towards you, someone helping you to be on top again. Now let me clarify the tower card because there could be some type of a shakeup as well that could happen for you. Uh, that just sort of comes out of the blue and it might set you off a little bit. And that's why there's this charity and this help. And the chariot card. I love when we get to clarify a major arcana with a major arcana. <laughs> this is definitely having something to do with a move um, or something to do with a car your car might even break down or something might happen with a car. Don't panic. Um, or, or there could, there is, it is possible there could be an accident 
um, either that you could be in or this person that you might know. Sometimes this card can represent, you know, giving money to help with bills or to help with a situation. The chariot card could also have something to do with um, travel. Some of you may, um, may be in a position where you can no longer stay where you are and now you have to get going because of this tower thing that happens here. But I am going to clarify one more time. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. That's the big shock. Okay, that is the big shock. Somebody's offering a substantial amount of financial help to you. And um, again, this person is very charitable. And it could have something to do with this King of Cups. But this person, um, maybe they're going to buy you a car or maybe they're going to offer you a job or help you to um, make a move or to travel somewhere, transfer somewhere. I'm feeling really generous energy from this person. Okay. Now the moon does represent Pisces. Okay. So it could be from a Pisces or it could be from a Cancer chariot here, the tarot for the tower for Scorpio. So I am feeling for most of you, it's a water sign. <clears throat> it's a water sign that you are connected to from your childhood. Okay. I just want to clarify the moon just to see what, you know, what's the energy there with the moon. The three of wands. Somebody is, uh, I feel like this person's been kind of like waiting to hear from you <clears throat> or waiting for you in some way. This person has um, put effort into something and now they're just waiting to see what happens. You know, there's secrets here about this person, you know, they're kind of like out there by themselves, all alone. They're attached to, to the number three. So three could be attached to three people. It could be attached to um, hold on one second. This person could also be very alone as well. And they could be on their own. Hold on, I'm just trying to, because I'm getting so many weird messages with this card. And sometimes I just get them and it's like, what's going on? This is also about expansion and growth. If, I know if I hold this up, I'm going to kill my camera, but you see all those leaves? Um, this is what this person is all about, basically. Look at those ships out there, waiting for those ships to come in. They're standing high on this, you know, their perch here. <clears throat> they may live near water, too. Okay, whoever they are, though, I feel like um, they're going to be offering, they're going to be very generous to you, helping you with something. You know, it's funny because there's no cup cards here except for the six of cups. And this just really represents kindness. You know, it's not all this lovey dovey energy. It's just basically kindness an offer of kindness. If that's what you want from someone or that's, if that's not good enough, well, <laughs> but I mean, this is a beautiful card. And so someone from your childhood or your past wanting to help you. Okay. They may be traveling to see you as well. Okay. They may be coming over water or, um, see, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like this person, they're steering that ship. They're, tr they want to help you get out of some chaotic situation. 
and they're going to bring kindness to help you with this. Okay. So even if this is not a male, uh, water sign, it could be a female water sign, whoever it is for you could be, you know, could ring true for you. But I do sense like a trip coming through. It could be you taking a trip to go to a family member or back to a family situation or place or somewhere where there's generosity coming towards you. So the page of wands. Yeah, there's going to be messages from this person that, you know, they want to help you. Okay. They're really excited to do this. Um, and, and their intention is to help you, as I said, get back up on the horse here. If you've been kind of down, I do feel there is love and care here from whoever this person is. They're, they're just, they really have good intentions with you. Here's the nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. To help you get back to being financially secure or, you know, being self-reliant or single and independent, that kind of thing, or just, you know, not even necessarily single. If this is like your partner or just, you know, someone who just, you know, they have so much care and love and they adore you so much and they have so much self, so much respect for you because you do respect yourself and you really don't like to ask people for help. But I feel like you're going to accept this generous, a generous gift or generous offering from someone. Um, even if it's not actually giving you cash, it can just be offering you, uh, material things or even like a job or something like that to help you get on your feet. But I do feel like it's because this person truly cares. Like they have such a love for you that they're willing to give. They're willing to, you know, just keep giving you flowers. They just keep giving you these gifts. Look at how many gifts they have here for you. They just want to keep giving to you. And it's very beautiful. So let's take a look and see what your overall love and guidance messages are from the Romance Angels for the 10 day forecast. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the 10 day messages? Pay attention to the red flags. Hello. Okay. So red flags don't necessarily have to be bad flags. They're just things that are waving in the air that you just can't miss. Okay. And if red flags are coming through for you uh, about how kind this person is or how, because there isn't anything negative about this, sorry about this reading whatsoever. I just feel like, you know, even though it says the signs are cautioning you, um, it's cautioning you to open yourself up and maybe accept this person's help because I feel like you, your red flag could be for you that you're not trusting this person or maybe this is someone from your past that you don't trust or you think they have some kind of like evil plan or something or, they, or maybe you have a fear that they're going to manipulate you or something. But I feel like you've got like a major tower moment happening here and there's something very serious. Um, and, and so everybody's serious of course is different, but there's something I feel like it's going to happen. It's going to kind of like change your lifestyle or change the way you live or change things for, for you. Um, especially with an offer of money coming in or some type of a gift that you'll receive. You may, feel like you don't know if you could trust this person or if you should take it, but I it feel it's being offered in kindness and it's generosity and it's not for anything. It's no other reason, um, to do this, but simply because of love. Okay. And that, that might scare you a little bit because you know, you might just feel like, no, I'm self-sufficient. I can do it myself. I can do it myself. I don't need anyone. I'm, I can rely on myself. I'll be victorious. And yes, you will, but sometimes people just need a little help now and then. And so I feel like your, your advice is, you know, I'm not feeling red flags coming from this person. I'm feeling them coming from you. So, you know, maybe allow yourself to accept the help which is what I'm seeing here with the six of pentacles. This is reciprocity. This is exchange. You know, someone's giving look, and he is on that red coat. So, you know, someone's giving and, and others are receiving and this person wants to do that for you. 
All right, Capricorn, I wish you the best 10 days coming for you. And again, if you want a personal reading, click the links in the box below to get one. And uh, if not, I will talk to you soon. All right, bye.